Hi there. So, okay, let's look at another essential word in Malay. So the focus today is on the word ada. So there are several uh, meanings to the word ada. The first is has or have or to express ownership. So if someone has something, we say that dia ada sesuatu. Um, for example, if you hear dia ada tiga anak. Dia ada tiga anak. So what does that mean? It simply means he has three kids. Okay, so it's just translated as has here. Um, another example. If it's to show ownership. Dia ada empat rumah. Dia ada empat rumah. So it's just translated as she has four houses or she owns four houses. Another example. Saya cuma ada dua ringgit. Saya cuma ada dua ringgit. So that is translated as I only have two ringgit. And another meaning for other is to show availability or um, existence. So it's, it's essentially you can use it to translate there is or there are or there was or there were. For example, if you hear Ada rumah dekat situ. Ada rumah dekat situ. So that means there is a house there. So for this, we use ada for there is. Um, so it shows the existence of a house over there. So um, you can actually also look at the sentence as there exists a house over there. So it, it's the same meaning in Malay. Um, ada rumah dekat sana. Another common use um, for ada is in questions. So if you hear something like ada klinik dekat sini tak? Ada klinik dekat sini tak? So essentially, that's asking, is there a clinic nearby? So um, where there is a clinic nearby, ada. There is not. There's no clinics nearby. Then it's tak ada. Or if it's tak ada, then it means that a clinic does not exist nearby. So how do you say? The following sentences in Malay. The first one, that school has 20 teachers. That school in Malay is sekolah tu, has 20 teachers. Ada 20 cikgu. Sekolah tu ada 20 cikgu. And the second sentence, he has a class tomorrow. So in Malay, that is, dia ada kelas esok. Dia ada kelas esok. A longer sentence, if you want to say, there is a spider on the wall. Or there exists a spider on the wall. So in Malay, that is Ada laba-labah dekat dinding Ada laba-labah dekat dinding You can also use di dinding uh, instead of dekat dinding But uh, dekat dinding is more commonly used in spoken um, conversations
So how do you say this next sentence? There are four chairs in that room. So there are here is translated as ada. So the full sentence would be ada empat kerusi dalam bilik tu. Ada empat kerusi dalam bilik tu. The next example, how do you say there is something that she's hiding? That would be ada benda yang dia sorok. Ada benda yang dia sorok. So benda generally means a thing. So it's something or anything. It would be translated as benda. So this also means that there is something that he's hiding. So dear um, is not tied to a gender. So you can use that for he or she. Let's look at a last example. So how do you say I used to have three dogs or I used to own three dogs? Saya pernah ada tiga anjing. Saya pernah ada tiga anjing. And half of the time you may hear that um, any animals would need an accompanying um, classifier. So uh, tiga eko anjing. Uh, you may hear that and we'll look at that in another video. So that's the word ada, and here we look at some of the additional new words that we've learned in this video.